make our sodium hydroxide solution, we use 33 ounces of Guinness Stout beer mixed with 14 ounces of our sodium hydroxide. You can see the the dark color that the sodium or that the uh, uh, beer gives to the mixture. We then mix our uh, beer solution with our oils, which is olive oil and coconut oil, and we bring it to a very light trace. Once it gets to a light trace, we'll add our coffee grounds, um, which will give the soap an exfoliating uh, type texture. Once we get the coffee grounds mixed in really well, um, what we will do is pour our mixture then into our colors, which in this case, all we're using are different variants of uh, white to, le to lessen the color brown into a couple of different uh, shades of brown. the darker shade of brown um, batter into the mold. We fill it up about um, two-thirds of the way up to the top of the mold and as you're going to see we're going to take the lighter color browns or the tans and we're going to pour from a from a higher level so that it kind of penetrates and goes down and swirls into that dark brown. Um, that's what we're doing right here. pouring into our loaf molds, we'll take the remaining batter and we'll pour them into our specialty molds, which are basically um, the bee molds, the heart-shaped molds, uh, we have a few other flower-shaped molds. About 24 hours uh, later, we will take the, the batter or the soap out of the molds and begin the cutting process. See the beautiful design from the the three different shades of brown that came into this this soap and also in this soap we didn't use any fragrances because the the fragrance of the beer and the coffee together was so so fantastic that we thought we'd leave it with that natural fragrance so much for joining us and we hope you've learned something in these videos about our process in making our own natural our healthy soaps and if you have any comments leave them down in the comment section and give us a like and watch our other videos on YouTube as well God bless you all